Yo, Algebros, Professor Algebro here. We are going to we're going to simplify radicals. Okay, stop that. I just wanted to stop. <laughs> you know, it, it's it sometimes it's very difficult because I got all this stuff. Okay, there are no notes. I'm doing this all in my head. So sometimes I'm going over a problem and I'm trying to talk and I get you know. The sometimers disease, you know. All right, yo, algebras, Professor Algebra here. We're going to talk about simplifying radicals now. For those of y'all that haven't worked any of these, we're going to take what we call the square root. That means it's an index of two. That means I have to find a number that multiplies to give me nine. Now, hopefully, you know that this is three times three. The index means you have to have two to come out, so I have two, three, so we know that the square root of nine is three. Square root of 16, that's going to be the square root of four times the square root of four, which equals four. Now, if you notice, I've done it two different ways. Either way is, is okay, but now, we're gonna look at the square root of eight. Now, there is nothing that multiplies to give you the square root of eight, so what we're going to do is we're gonna look at what perfect square is inside eight, that leaves you with a whole number. Well, it just so happens, there's, there's my uh, number over there, so we're gonna say the square root of four times the square root of two. So we take the square root of four and we get two square root of two, okay? Now, I would like for you to pause the video and try to do the square root of 20. Okay, we're back. So this is going to be the perfect square, the, the, the largest perfect square inside 20 is the square root of four, and that leaves me with the square root of five. So now, the square root of four is two, square root of five. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple more that we're gonna do. A lot of this had to do with just four, so let's see if we can go a little differently here. We're gonna try that one, okay? The square root of 200, are you okay? Well, four's in there, no, no, no. We need the largest perfect square, so I'm gonna teach you a little trick. It's called divisibility rules, all right? Any number that is even is divisible by two. So since 200 is an even number, say, well, we're gonna, we're gonna divide this by two. So there's two inside there, but once you take 200 divided by two, you get 100. Well, what do I know about 100? If you play that in a calculator and you take the square root of 100, you get 10. So this is 10 square root of two, all right? Last one, okay, I want you to do the square root of 45. Pause the video, and then we'll get back. Okay, now, what's inside 45? Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can either go with the perfect square or the divisibility rule. I'm going with the divisibility rule. Any number that ends in five is divisible by five. So I'm gonna take 45 divided by five, I get five, and nine, okay? So I know five is not my perfect square, but nine is, so the square root of nine is three, square root of five. No matter where you go, math is there. Later, dudes. Algebros, if you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Later.